Hi guys, so I um, received a request to make a video about my uh, my DIY H shifter build and so I decided to make one. So here's the shifter made of mostly plywood and uh, some um, chipboard with some aluminium and plastic bits and pieces here and there so we'll take the top off and see what's what inside oh and since it requires quite a bit of force to engage the gears you can see it moving about so I've, I've fixed that problem with these simple clamps that hold the shifter in place on the table. So here's the shift gate made out of 6 mm thick plywood and on the other side we have 8 quite big uh, micro switches. These, all of these are connected into a single ground point here on this this black wire. So let's get the focus right. That black wire on this Chinese knockoff Arduino Nano. And the rest of these y red wires are connected to an individual digital input pin on the Arduino. So when this 11mm thick aluminium rod connect, hits one of these rollers, it closes the circuit and it gives an input at the computer. And, and since the last demonstration video I did, I've added something else, which we'll look at shortly. So what I added since last time is this simple aluminium tube that hits this switch right here. I pull it and using these elastic bands I stop it from falling too much forward it gives it right here and handy and it's quite light to use and it return it's it also acts as a return spring for the handbrake lever and I connect the uh, the push button with two wires E and it goes into its separate ground wire here and another input wire here. And here is the method how I made the gear to stay in place. It's this white crude rock rocking system. And it has two of these roller clamps at each end and they hold the gear in place. Another method would have been to have these roller clamps in place of the micro switches here but that would have required me to have this actual gear lever to be of a, materi of a material that um, how do I say this? Um, conducts electricity but since this is alumi aluminum and there's this aluminium oxide layer on top it doesn't conduct electricity how it should so I should have put this as a steel rod I could have done and get rid of this roller completely and use these in place of the micro switches and put a ground wire on this lever so when I put it in gear, it closes the circuit between the 
between the rod and the clamp itself, close the circuit and then makes makes the computer think hey there's a button pressed down, I need to change gear. So next we are gonna have a look at the code and see what it does and how the thing works. Right, so here is the code I used for the shifter and as we see here it starts with making these different variables then and we assign the pin number to that variable so reverse gear would be pin 0 gear 1 pin 1 etc 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 and handbrake on pin 8 now the ground pin doesn't need to be bound to anything it just is and then we put each of those pins into output mode here and set them to high so every single pin has 5 volts of um, it has 5 volt voltage in it in them and when the when the uh, micro switch gets engaged it shorts to the ground and makes the volt voltage zero again and he, as you can see here the the zero means the pin has been shorted to the ground causing a drop in voltage on that pin so it reads the pin and if it's shorted to the ground it then sends a key press to hold zero on the keyboard and it's gonna be the uh, keys on top of the keyboard not the uh, numpad and it's and the process is repeated to all of the gears and the handbrake and handbrake is bound to space so you could in theory use a keyboard as a shifter also and at this point I should thank the uh, Hackaday forums and and the uh, Steam user named Bob Radar, who has also made a guide on Steam on how to make this show, this sort of edge shifter. I shall put the links in the video description for you. So there we have it. All dismantled and. Well, not completely dismantled. It's gonna be a, a tricky job to get it, put it back together again. But um, <clears throat> this is a very, very crude build. Uh, if there were things, there are many things I would like to do differently. For example, I'd like to make this shift the gate out of steel, probably two, three millimeters thick. It doesn't need to be this thick, but the problem then would be to attaching these micro switches. I don't, I don't know how I would do that. Um, other than that, it works, and that's important. And yeah, thanks for thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next week, probably with some XCOM 2. Who knows?